total chaos. Um, pictures don't describe how bad it was when you come out and you looked at what Periwinkle was and how bad it was on the island. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody to stay during a hurricane, but I did. And I wouldn't recommend, if I had to do it over again, I would tell anybody they should have evacuated and not stay on the island because it wasn't an experience that you really want to go through. Uh, at that time, the storm was tracking basically towards the Tampa area, going to be about 60 miles offshore of Sanibel, category, you know, two, I think it's probably about what it was at that point in time, maybe. And so we expected maybe at best tropical storm winds. Well, my son was watching the weather on TV and I heard him say, hey, dad, come here you need to look at this. So I went back and looked at the TV and they started talking about this, the storm wobbling a little bit. Um, and uh, then about another five minutes went by and uh, they confirmed the fact that it wasn't a wobble, that the storm had changed direction. And literally when the weatherman, I think it was Van Winkle on Channel 2, he had a screenwriter pen and he, he put it, he started where the storm, where the eye of the storm was and drew an arrow. And literally, if you could have done, you couldn't have done it any closer. The tip of that arrow looked like it was right at my front door. We were kind of putting up shutters. This, this, we we skipped a window, so we actually got to watch a lot of uh, what was going on on the outside. And I'm surprised the window didn't break. But there was there was one coconut tree that would fly out a zoom of the window, and then that thing would just come back up when the gust would stop. It was uh, pretty intense at the time uh, because nobody's really prepared for it because we didn't think it was going to hit. They were going more towards Tampa yeah. than us and at the last, last hour or so they're like it's coming toward Sanibel and Cape Coral, Fort Myers so we weren't really prepared so probably you know you get caught in something like that it's kind of freaky so. If there's anything that came on the positive I think it's uh, it educated a lot of people on how, how destructive a storm could be and how quick it could change and high mother nature is very unpredictable. No matter how you try predicting, it could change at the last minute. Hurricane Charlie, you know, was really the first storm to hit the island in so long that it really took everybody off board. I grew up on the island and you didn't really think about, you know, it really wasn't that much of a concern. And uh, so, you know, we weren't, I would say we were pretty underprepared for it. I mean, we were fine. We weren't gonna, you know, starve or, or anything like that, but you know, you didn't have generators. We had, we had no generator. You know, we, we were kind of like scrounged around for stuff to eat. I would just like to mention that, you know, when your city officials tell you to evacuate, they are speaking with knowledge, and I think you should heed their warnings and do what they say. Uh, and if they tell you to evacuate, I think you should go. We're coming into the peak time of the hurricane season right now for probably the next 45 days is the peak time of the year. So you really need, if you don't have your preparations you need to get them in place now because it can happen very quick and so don't wait if you don't have your hurricane package and, and supplies together head out let's get them done because right now is the time to make sure you've got it if i just say it's, it's an island we love living here and no hurricane or nothing you know is gonna it may run us off but we're going to come back this is home and we're not going to leave it